Good morning, Saudi Daisy. Today's show includes information on the talent show, Beta Club, and the latest on weather. Let's get started with the pledge and a moment of silence. Seniors, Brad from Chat State will be in the Media Center today during third block. If you plan on attending Chat State and have not set up your Tiger ID or have any questions, be sure to stop by. Also, if you are in Beta Club, points are due today, no exceptions. Talent show auditions are April 23rd and 24th. If you're interested in auditioning, talk to Ms. Boydston in room 115. There will be a field trip for juniors and seniors to the UTC Technology Symposium. The trip will be on April 18th, leaving after the EOC and returning by the end of the day. The trip is $10 and lunch will be provided. Return signed forms to Mr. Moore, Ms. Hicks, or Mr. Klein as soon as possible. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange has been arrested and London's Metropolitan Police say he was ta taken into custody due to an extradition request by the United States. This is video of Assange shortly after he began living at Ecuador's embassy back in 2012. Police entered the embassy Thursday after Ecuador withdrew Assange's asylum, citing his bad behavior. Authorities say he is being detained under an extradition warrant, adding that he will appear in court as soon as possible. Assange first entered the em embassy as a part of a bid to avoid extradition to Sweden, where he was facing sexual assault allegations. That case was dropped, although a Swedish prosecutor says the investigation could be reopened. However, Assange feared extradition to the U.S. due to his work with WikiLeaks. And a U.S. court filing last November inadvertently revealed U.S. government efforts to file criminal charges against him. A stunning allegation from Attorney General William Barr. He suggested to lawmakers Wednesday that Donald Trump's presidential campaign was spied on, but did not elaborate on the claims. CNN Sunlin Sephardi reports. I think there's a spying did occur. Yes, I think spying did occur. An explosive statement from Attorney General William Barr, echoing unproven claims from President Trump. For the same reason we're worried about foreign uh, influence in elections, we want to make sure that uh, during an election, I, I think spying on a political campaign is a big deal. Barr's comments coming under scrutiny from the former director of national intelligence during the 2016 campaign. I thought it was uh, both stunning and, and, and scary. The term spying uh, has all kinds of negative connotations and uh, I, I, I have to believe he, he chose that term uh, uh, deliberately. Barr telling senators his team will examine the genesis and conduct of the FBI's counterintelligence probe into potential ties between the Trump campaign and Russia. I am not saying that improper surveillance occurred. I'm saying that I am concerned about it and looking into it. That's all. The Justice Department watchdog is already looking into separate allegations the FBI abused its powers in surveilling former Trump foreign policy aide Carter Page but Barr offered no evidence to substantiate his spying claim. They spied on me. They spied on our campaign. Who would think that's possible? Barr igniting a firestorm with Dems over the Attorney General's independence. The chief law enforcement officer of our country is going off the rails. He is the, the Attorney General of the United States of America not the attorney general of Donald Trump. And President Trump taking his attacks on the Mueller probe to a new level. This was a, an attempted coup. This was an attempted takedown of a president. And we beat them. We beat them. Good morning, everyone. 
Today, we're going to have clouds in the sky with just a little sun peeking through, accompanied by temperatures in the upper 70s all afternoon. Tomorrow, however, will be something completely different. We're expecting showers to hit the area overnight and stay until tomorrow morning. There is also a chance that these showers could th turn into thunderstorms, so be ready. Temperatures will be in the upper 60s and lower 70s. <laughs> The Lady Trojan track team pulled out a win at last night's meet over 14 other teams, despite being down a couple of athletes. Congratulations to them. The boys track team also placed seventh during their event, with Jake Love breaking his personal best record in discus with a throw of 121 feet and 11 inches. The soccer team is playing a match tonight against White County at White County. Students get in for free, so come, come out and support our Trojans. That's all for today, Saudi Daisy. Tune in tomorrow for more important announcements. Until then, have a good day and good news.